um, a tough one, tough one tonight. But I'm so proud of our young ladies. Um, I'm just telling you, it seems like every time we, we make a step forward, then, you know, something happens to challenge us. But being experienced, I do understand that challenges like this um, will help us in the long run. And there are a lot of things that we can build off of, a lot of things we can be proud of, especially with, uh, you know, our point guard not being present today. What do you attribute the uh, second half com coming out so strong in the second half to? I was their point guard. <laughs> so, uh, so I just knew we had to try to weather the storm in the first half because, you know, we didn't we didn't find out that Mimi like Mimi didn't get hurt in practice. Mimi got hurt coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> That's how Mimi got a concussion. So we had no idea that this was gonna happen until, you know, right as we're prepping. And so that just puts us put us in a situation that we really our, our young ladies, um, I knew it would be would be an adjustment for us, and uh, and and we've been down by a lot in the Virgin Islands, and we've been back in the game. So, not for one, no one. I didn't have to make anyone believe that we can get back in the game. We just knew we had to settle down, and I asked them to give their all on the defensive end and hold them to ten points in the third. They did. What type of growth have you seen from the beginning of the season to now? Oh, Parish, I mean, uh, tremendous. Uh, just from, I mean, first of all, where's Shandrika been? You know, here's where she's been. She's been hurt. She's going on the brace. Then she had a revelation that she didn't need the brace anymore. And and then she, you know, she had a lot going on. And then I got a player at the point today. You know, uh, so it's growth in that. Uh, Julia has been steadily improving every game. You know, Gabby is is a bright spot, and um, even through Crystal's uh, bad play today, this will be a great learning lesson for her moving forward. Um, and I'm just proud of our team. I mean, we we got to figure out the rebounding, guys. We have to figure out the rebounding. You know, that rebound we gave up at the free throw line that was key. I think that that broke our backs. What did they do to uh, kind of have Crystal off her game tonight? Well, Crystal had to get used to it because no one's just going to let her walk in the game and have 26 points. But I think, um, you know, maybe it was them who opened the bathroom door. Or maybe <laughs> that's what they did. Uh, I had to put Crystal in a lot of uncomfortable positions. And so I welcome it because she needs to grow, and that's what we're going to use this um, non-conference for. Like I said before, guys, I, I'm sorry. Like, we can't, right now, like, wins are not as important as putting pieces together and learning because we have to learn. When, when, would, when would we learn? The last four games that we've played, you had a team that was in the national championship, and the last three were in the WNIT, and then this team was in the semifinals that lost a game just like this. So they learned, they had their lesson a year ago. They brought everybody back. And so I'm encouraged because we're gonna be able to move forward from this. How do you feel like y'all defended? You held, you held them pretty well below all of their season marks. Yeah, uh, that, was a plan, that was a plan. You know, I challenged our staff. I thought as a staff, uh, they did a great job of coming, getting together with me and us coming up with a game plan. To be honest, the last 48 hours, I probably had four hours of sleep because I really wanted to put our, our uh, players in the best position possible and my staff as well. And so we really felt good about our game plan defensively. And I, I'm, I think we're one of, uh, you know, we're a pretty good defensive team, you know. So uh, we just have to get our offense to click and, and, I, and I promise you guys they'll come. You know, I, I said, oh, Drake's coming, and then Crystal does show up, and then, you know, but but one night it will all click, you know, and, and that's when you'll see us start to get some wins. Talk about those last four games, obviously, four really tough games in a row, and you, yeah. you got better and better as those Every games time. went on. How, how do you continue to move that forward as you go into the next few games? Oh, yeah, I mean, 
just <clears throat> we look at every game as a championship game, to be honest with you. You know, we're going to watch film on this tomorrow, and then we're going to move forward because we have another championship to play. And the reason why we've embraced that mentality is because right now we can't make excuses. We can't listen to the numbers. If you would look, if you looked at the numbers, this team, this TCU team, was, was supposed to beat us at least by 20, and then our point guard goes down, you know, I mean, easily. Uh, but we don't look at those things uh, because we don't we don't concern ourselves if the stats or people think the team is better. We just know that at at the, the night of the game that we need to be better, and that's what we strive to do. So every every game is March Madness for us. Can you walk us through what the plan was on those last couple of offensive possessions? Yeah. So the lad the play when Crystal turned the ball over, you know she's very strong going to her right. And I wanted her to center the ball so she can come off uh, her right hand because she wasn't going to come off. She was going to reject it and go to the basket. We were in the bonus. And um, there was just a little panic there, you know, and uh, she tried to make a play, and we just fumbled the ball. Unfortunately, I wanted us to get the timeout, uh, but, uh, you know, I, get, I mean, I want us to get the jump because we had the possession. But uh, they got the timeout. And then the, the last play that was designed, Fuller Karras to get the shot um, of a staggered, and then she pops. And Lakaris makes big shots. So if Crystal or Drake wasn't going to get it, then I definitely. And Chris, because, because we didn't have Mimi to bring the ball down, you know, it took away from Crystal and Drake to get it. But uh, the last two minutes of the game, our execution was horrendous. <laughs> Uh, I would call a timeout, draw some up, and that's not what I drew up. So, um, give that. That's because you know our players. This is the first time they've been in that position. But I can assure you, this will be something that they'll grow from. You talked about the rebounds. How you've been? That, that's kind of been a struggle for, the, yeah. for for most of the season. What can you do in practice over the next few days going into the Jacksonville State game to try and? improve that and maybe get a really good game yeah. on, on Sunday? You know, um, I may be wrong with this thought process, but I just believe rebounding is a one-two, not so much as a skill. Now, to be honest, tonight, we knew we would get beat on the boards because of our defensive positioning. and uh, But we didn't want to get beat on the boards at the free throw line. You know, those things, it's just having a one-two. So, you know, I just believe you have to show the players and uh, – because a rebound is either you want it or I want it, and someone's going to get it, and we just have to get tougher in that aspect. When was Mimi's accident in the bathroom? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Uh, so. It wasn't like right before the game. Right? No, 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 no. Is she going to be back Sunday? Uh, we're not sure. We're not sure. No, I'm up, to, I'm up for the challenge if she isn't. You know, I'm up for the challenge. I, 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 don't, I don't think that it, it would hurt us either way. You know, we need this type of experience uh, to have the type of success that I believe that we'll have in conference. I'm just telling you, like, if we keep growing and keep getting better, you know, um, we're going to supersede expectations. Now, I'm not saying we're going to go to the NCAA tournament, guys. What I'm saying is, you know, I doubt we'll be 1-15. Anything else? All right. Thank, Thank you. you, Coach.